Hey guys, it's Daniel here. Today I'm reviewing the Stomp Rocket. I found this on Thingiverse. It consists of three parts, one with the base, you've got the plunger that goes into the base, and then you have the rocket itself. Pretty simple, uh, pretty cool. I'm kind of curious to see how it comes out and how smooth it works. Let's go ahead and check it out in uh, Flash Print. So I've got Flash Print loaded up here, and what I've done is I'm gonna print the plunger and the base part in the same material. I've got some gray um, Overture PLA Pro, which has got a little bit stronger tolerance than regular PLA. Um, so I'll try it with this here, with, for the, this part anyway. You can see down in there, there's a little chamber where the air that gets pushed through here comes out through here basically. So I'll print this in gray and then we'll do the rocket in red. Now originally I tried to print this uh, without a raft, but as you'll see here in the clip, uh, that quickly did not work out very well. The plunger part did not stick at all and started dragging around the entire print here, as you can see. So, highly recommend a raft on this one. Guys, so I've got the models here that printed out, and this is the first one I did in the gray. Came out great, honestly, it really did. I used the Overture uh, Gray PLA Pro. It's a little bit tougher than the regular PLA. Honestly, I've used both their PLA and their PLA Pro, and to be honest, not a huge difference. But this one does tend to have a little bit more strength, I've noticed. I would say, but I had a little bit left in a roll. I decided to go ahead and print this one, and. This is the completed deal. I did run this up and down quite a few times as the, um, they recommend. You can hear it's still kind of moving back and forth there a little bit. And the rocket, which I printed separately in red PLA, does go over it, but it does kind of struggle a little bit to get all the way down. I had to really kind of push it. And what I noticed with this one is that I could probably run it up and down quite a, often and maybe get this to be a little looser because it was quite a bit tighter when I first printed it. Um, but I really couldn't get it to, to launch without keeping it kind of near that top part there. So you see how that kind of works like that. So what I decided to do was go ahead and take the same idea and I figured really all it needed was a little bit more tolerance between the rocket and the actual launcher itself. So I shrunk down the model a little bit by 95% to be exact and I reprinted it. And you can see it's very similar in size, just a little bit smaller. Really hard to see almost, but you can kind of tell. Not quite as big. Uh, but that made this fit over really nicely and just fits over there perfectly. And then gives you a lot easier launchability, honestly. This works great. Um, great little toy to play around with. I think uh, reducing this size of the plunger a little bit in, the, in this assembly here makes it a lot easier. And definitely recommend checking this out and uh, trying it for yourself. Pretty cool project.